Another year, another award season, another ranking. I was able to see every Best Picture nominee this year, and 2022 was a great year for movies. I'll get right to my personal ranking, but first, I just want to give a shout out to a few movies I think were snubbed for Best Picture. The Batman, Nope, and The Northman. Now let's get to it. A movie everyone is praising that I just can't imagine sitting through ever again. While the writing was outstanding and Kate Blanchett basically secured the Oscar for how truly brilliantly real her performance is, the film just felt very stale. It deserves to be here for her stellar performance, but I would never sit down and watch this again. One of the biggest talked about movies of the year on Twitter and around award season, I leapt at the chance to see Triangle of Sadness. When I finally did, I departed the theater kind of like eh. It was overhyped though, I understand why it is beloved, but it was not my cup of tea. This is really bad. This is really, really bad. I still have not rewatched Elvis, even though I have thought about the movie every week since I've seen it. I remember it quite vividly. It was bloated and over edited, yet the emotion behind it and the extraordinary performance by Austin Butler did heighten it to a greater level. I think this is one movie I am kind of surprised made it to the Best Picture nominees, but I am not upset about it. The greatest show on earth. It was clear from the moment the trailer came out that this would be nominated for countless awards. A Spielberg movie, wait, a Spielberg movie about Spielberg? This is what the Academy dies for and I won't be surprised if it wins. In my opinion, I think this is a lower tier Spielberg movie, but the cinematography and writing skyrocket this enough so you look past some of the iffy acting choices by one or two of the leads. It is a beautiful tale, but felt too on the nose for being nominated. What was your favorite part? I am very happy this is getting recognized. All Quiet on the Western Front is a real horror movie based on the traumatic, disturbing, and hellish events of history. The stunning shots feature gripping and graphic violence of the war that feels haunting and depressing, not to mention one of the most heartbreaking war movies I have seen since 1917. It is a brilliant piece of filmmaking. Ich habe Angst vor dem, was kommt. My last Best Picture nominee watch. The moment I heard the nominees, I searched for a local screening and drove to the theater. From the trailer, Women Talking was not at all intriguing, but after leaving the theater, I felt a huge weight come over me. Women Talking deserves to be on this list, and I kind of hope it wins. The writing is immaculate, and the premise all taking place within one day just blew me away. I had tears in my eyes for the majority of the second and third act. The moment I got home, I did research about the true life story, and I am just so happy I finally saw it. I am upset I didn't see it till it was nominated, but thank God it did, because it drove me to see this masterwork. We will have to ask ourselves who we are. James Cameron was given the opportunity to realize his vision to its fullest potential. He cut no corners and took years to develop not only the story, but also the technology needed to make it, hiring the best out there to help him make it work, and it really shows. Take it from me, one of the biggest Avatar haters out there, if you don't appreciate this film, then you and I value filmmaking differently. It's truly one of a kind franchise, it blew me away tenfold, and I want every sequel he's got left in him. Wherever we go. Family is our fortress. What can't Tom Cruise do? There is clearly plenty of love and passion in this film, which shows through every passing second with a tear-jerking moment or two. Indeed, a pleasant addition to such a great action film. The sentiment gave it substance. 
The third act was phenomenal. This is undeniably better than the first Top Gun. This is an elevated action movie with amazing acting, great storytelling, extraordinary cinematography. It has all the tropes of a classic action style movie, but done to sheer perfection, and it deserves to be one of the nominees. Running back now. Come on! Jeez! Having any fun yet? The absurdity of the plot, the seriousness behind it all, and the true meaning of friendship kept me wondering throughout. Different from all that we have been fed, the film underlines how it is never that serious, which is refreshing. Because the Banshees of Inish Aaron is neither about saving the world, nor about telling the greatest love story, it is about stability, consistency, depression, loss, disappointment, and everything else in between. A story about a breakup between friends. This film truly caught me off guard and I am happy it did. I've seen it twice now and I love it so much. In my heart, I want this to win. Can't be waiting around for any more of this madness. Ah! Let's just call it quits. We won't call it quits. We'll call it the start. The greatest underdog story of the past decade, Everything Everywhere All at Once, is one of the best movies to come out of 2022. You have to give props to the Daniels for their creativity. If this wins, and it has a good ass chance, then it will hopefully give more freedom to filmmakers. The movie didn't make me want to strive to be better, reminding me that I can never accomplish more. The movie just reminds me that it's okay to not be those things. It's okay I'm not more, or I'm not better. All I need is to be me. The people in my life who love me, love me for me. We can be so happy if we just seek joy in what we have and not wallow in what we don't. This movie is beautiful, grand, and it is a multiversal masterpiece. And I hope it wins Best Picture. Every rejection, every disappointment has led you here to this moment. Don't let anything distract you from it. Tune in every Friday for new movie videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below what other movies you would like me to do videos on. Thank you, Mom, for editing the scripts for my movie essays. I appreciate you. Till next time, thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side.